this pen is all over Instagram. And it's not even made for levering. <laughs> so I've seen this pen being used on Instagram a lot. And I'm going to show you an example right here from a, another creator. And it intrigued me. So I had to buy it. And we are going to try it together for the first time today. So this is a fine liner paint pen. And apparently when I was looking for this on YouTube, no, I wasn't looking for it on YouTube. When I was looking for this on Amazon, I didn't really know what it was called. Um, so I said some sort of fine liner. I don't even know how I found it. I just found it. But this is actually meant for automotive touch-ups. So I guess like when you get a scratch on your car, maybe you use this to like use for fixing. I don't know what they use this for. Maybe I should have Googled it. Anyway, we're going to open this up and we're going to try it because everyone else makes it look really, really easy. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a hard time. Okay, so there was a staple keeping this whole thing together. So I just took it off and sorry for the little sun dots, but it is what it is. So let us open this thing. Ooh, so it's an all metal construction. So that means like this whole thing is metal. This is just a protector little pen cap. See, there it is. It is teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny. So I'm going to put that back on real quick and see what this is. This looks like it is the cleaning tool. So let me just see if I can get this off. Ooh. Oh, okay. So it is just like a little needle that you can slide on through after you're done using it. Okay, we're not gonna do that right now. So according to this packaging, this is a 0.5 millimeter tip for precision work. So it's a very, very tiny tip meant for automotive touch-ups, painting, and more. So the and more must mean hand lettering and modern calligraphy. So let's figure this out. Okay, so this is how I am seeing people use this. They can get their watercolor, they have their paintbrush, they take the little rubber pen cap off. Okay, so I am going to use this pink color and I am going to wet it. I'm a little hesitant about using inks that kind of dry easily and are a little bit waterproof because I'm afraid it's going to clog the tip. So I think I'm going to stick with watercolors for this. So let's see. Um, let's see if I put it in there. Fill that thing up. Can you even see what I'm doing? Oh, there you go. So that looks full. Let's see. Uh oh, it's not working. Of course it wouldn't work. Of course you're not working. Hello. All right, what's the magic trick here, guys? Do I... <laughs> so I am trying... Maybe there's an air bubble in here. Maybe if I kind of... Let's see. People make this stuff look so easy. I knew this was going to happen, guys. Okay. So I am going to see if I can get it started in here. I hope I don't ruin my paintbrush. Oh, there it is. I got it. Nope. Nope. No! All right, I'm gonna go play with this off camera and see what I can do. All right, I added a little bit more water, uh, made it a little bit more liquidy, 
and I was able to get it to work. So it's pretty cool. It almost has a feel because it's offset a little bit like an oblique nib holder. But this is cool. Let me go change angles so that you can see what it looks like from the side. So I am going to show you. Isn't that so cool? I mean, I am officially into this. <laughs> How's that look? So if you want to thicken your downstrokes, all you have to do is just go back and do that. Easy peasy. And because it's a reservoir, you don't have to go back and refill or come back to the paint as often as you would say a calligraphy dip, you know, a nib. You have some time to kind of play around and not have to worry about if you're going to run out. Very, very cool. All right, I am going to put the link down in the description box of the exact brand that I got on Amazon. And if you want to try this out, that would be really awesome. And um, that's it. That's all I got for you today. I'm super happy that I got this to work. Um, yeah, so I'll see you next time. Bye.